Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. I call this series the Magic 7 Numbers. Let's continue our discussion about the Magic 7 Numbers. This time the example we'll take is x is equal to minus half. Whenever we have negative uh, numbers, we'll have two sets of classification, even powers and odd powers. Let's come to the even powers. If x is equal to minus half, x square is 1 upon 4. The next even power will be x raised to 4 and that is 1 upon 16. Now if we compare the position of 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 16 on the number line, which one comes to the right and which one comes to the left? Both are positive so they are to the right of 0. 1 upon 16 comes closer whereas 1 upon 4 is to the right. And the more a number is to the right of 0 on the number line, the greater it is. So to summarize, if I look at x square, it's 1 upon 4. x raised to 4, 1 upon 16. So x square is greater than x raised to 4. x raised to 4 will be greater than x raised to 6, so on and so forth. Because as you go higher in even powers, when x is equal to minus half, you are to the right of 0, but you are still shifting towards 0. So the values go on decreasing. Now let's come to the odd powers. x is equal to minus half. x cube will be minus 1 upon 8. So which one is? Both of them are to the left of 0. That's fine. But which one is closer to 0? It's x cube. So whenever we have odd powers in case of x is equal to minus 1 upon 2. So minus 1 upon 2 is less than x cube minus 1 upon 8, which in turn is less than x raised to power 5 minus 1 upon 32. So if x is equal to minus half for odd powers x less than x cube less than x raised to 5 so on and so forth and as we've seen in the magic 7 uh, numbers discussion whatever is applicable to x equal to minus half is applicable to all values of x between 0 and minus 1 thank you